second piece of real estate in Janesville is one step closer to being on the market. The riverfront property was once thought to be contaminated. Rock County reporter Adam Duxter joins us with what environmental experts are saying. Adam? Yeah, Susan and Eric, just this past May, a potential development was actually pulled from this Rock River property site because of fears that the ground was contaminated. But now the city of Janesville is hopeful that someone else could call this property home soon. There's certainly opportunities for multiple development sites. To you or me, it's just a feel. But to an economic development director like Gail Price, it's an opportunity. This is an important site for redevelopment that it's going to have uh, a lot of spin-off effect in a beneficial way for downtown. This prime riverfront property was previously set for development until concerns about what's below the ground changed those plans. We were worried about was things like PCBs, PFAS, the stuff that takes an incredible amount of investment to clean up. The city of Janesville has been working with the Wisconsin DNR to complete comprehensive soil testing, which the experts say is looking good. You know, I would say as, as sites go, this, you know, there's impacts out there, but nothing, nothing too different from, from impacts that we find at most uh, urban sites. This means the site is ripe for development once again. And with such a close proximity to what's already happening in downtown Janesville. We've got the Milwaukee Street Bridge still under construction. And Price says he's hopeful housing, namely multi-level apartment living, could be next for the area. Something he says could continue to grow the city. The more residents that we have in this space and in our downtown, that's going to attract other retail, other restaurants, other business activity, increased sales, all of those things that make a vibrant downtown. Now, Price says he's hopeful that someone who wants to develop this property could do so over the course of just the next few months. He does say there is still a little bit of testing that would have to happen before that can happen, but he says he and other city leaders were really relieved when they found out that that contamination wasn't more serious. Adam Duxter, live in Janesville. Adam, thank you.